Hello, I'm Daniel. I am going to now do what is part one of my read-along of this text, Chan Handbook. And again, I want to recommend that you get this book, but you also don't have to because I'm going to read read it to you and talk to you. So you don't have to get it, but if you want to read along, you can. And this is by Master Swanhua. Master Swanhua. And that's how you spell it. H-S-U-A-N-H-U-A. It's weird, right? So, this chapter, I'm going to read it, and then I'm going to comment on it. When thoughts cease, confusion ends. That's the name of the chapter. When thoughts cease, confusion ends. We humans are born confused and die confused. We are confused while asleep and confused while awake. What value is there in that kind of life? So does that mean we do not want to be human beings anymore? No, but we have to understand where we came from, when we were born, and where we will go after death. Someone may say, I know how to find out about death. I can overdose on drugs or hang myself or jump into a river. Would I not know then? Suicide will not free you from birth and death. It will only increase your karmic burden. We sit in meditation in order to find a way to ensure that when it is time for us to die, we will not suffer physical illness, we will not crave wealth, sex, fame, food, and sleep, and our minds will not be upside down. Death should be just as if we had entered into Chan Samadhi. We want to pass away with a smile, be without discomfort, and have Amitama Buddha welcome us with a golden dais. We want to be able to predict our own passing and to know of it, its coming in advance. We want to know the year, day, month, and even the precise time when we will pass away once all our tasks have been completed. Cultivation is just for that purpose. If we do not know about that crucial moment, then we will remain confused throughout our entire life. Nor will that confusion end with death. In death after death, we will still be confused. In life after life, we will be unclear. How pitiful to be perpetually confused. The reason we practice sitting in meditation and want to learn Buddhism is because we do not want to be confused. Many people spend their time doing scientific research aimed at trying to determine the makeup and workings of the human body so they can reproduce it. Those who seek scientific solutions outside themselves are forsaking the roots and going after the branch tips. When we understand our original self, we will then gain great wisdom. Learning Buddhism will allow that great wisdom to unfold. So... Often in Buddhism, what is said is life is suffering and we're trying to deal with suffering. And he sort of said that, but he uses the word confusion. He says we're, we go through life very confused. We are born confused and we die confused. And meditation is meant to help us with that. And it's also, he goes to great lengths to tell us that death is a central problem of our lives. And meditation helps us face that in a better way. Helps us have equanimity about it helps us not get torn up about the fact that we're going to die and he's got some stuff in here about um rebirth which is not a subject i really like to talk about but and amitabha buddha welcoming you when you die right that stuff to our western mind that seems uh i don't like it but the rest as far as we're confused we're we go through life confused and that is the big struggle of our lives we are confused um I, I heard this term recently and it is apamata and that means the absence of madness it's something we're trying to cultivate the absence of madness and we just have to change that a little bit to be the absence of confusion i just really wanted to reference that term i guess because it doesn't really make sense here but the point is that we are confused we are struggling we are sleepwalking through life and we are lost and Meditation can help us. So, when thoughts cease, confusion ends. We don't want to be confused. I don't want to be confused. So, I really I really like that Swan Hua has decided to use the word confusion, at least in this, this chapter, instead of the word suffering. Because I think that when people hear in, from Buddhism that life is suffering, they sort of get all kinds of weird ideas. So, but... Confused? Well, yeah, we're confused. We don't know our place in the world. We don't know how the world works. We are struggling with confusion all the time, and I think that um, is a good way of putting things. So, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. There will be another one.
later on. This has been part one of the Chan Handbook Read-Along. Thank you for being here. Have a good day.